Hello everyone, JRDeal96 here with a brand new video, a brand new reaction. And as you can tell by the title, it's another Jacksepticeye video and it's a big one. It's the project known as IRIS. It's finally here. It finally came out today, earlier, but apparently Jack decided to be a little creative with this one. Apparently it was a live stream and people were using command keys in the chat to access the, you know clips from irs's files and then after they finished the prop the pop the process this video was uploaded i am assuming or did they like did they find clips in between like you know just bits and pieces i don't know but it was a really interesting take on what jack decided to do with this with this whole project like i don't know so this project has been in the works for a very long time, for like this past year alone. He filmed it back in August, and we got a little snippet of it in a, his 5,000th video. And now this. It's finally arrived, and I, I feel like Chase Brody is the main focus of this whole project. He's the main protagonist of this whole thing. But because the last time we saw Chase was three years ago in the Chase video where he was in the woods being depressed, the sad dad that he is. And next thing you know, he gets teleported to a parking garage near some medical facility or whatever. Some area, some place in the city. And then Ch Dr. Schneeplestein was tied into this. Then JJ was tied into this. And then Marvin was tied into this whole thing. So we're like, what is happening? So now finally, Chase is back after like three years of just being gone for so long on that cliffhanger so based on the trailer it seems like this is a continuation of this because he says one moment i'm in the forest the next thing you know then i'm not so anyways enough rambling let's get right into this chaos so alpha uh, duh let's react to this video shall we state your name for the record the date please. is october 18th 2019 we are interviewing can you state your name for the record, sir? October 18th. Uh, Chase Brody. Mr. Brody is a 5 foot 8 inch white male, mid 30s. He was described as having appeared out of thin air by a passerby on the top level of a parking garage. Mr. Brody, can you tell us how you ended up at this location? I, I have no idea. I mean, one second I was one place, and the next thing I know I'm somewhere else. Weird inconsistency with the hat. Wait, what's going on? Where am I? You're safe, that's all you need to know. So you don't have any recollection of how you got here? No, I have no idea. Subject has no recollection of spatial transition. Wait, excuse me? Subject? Apologies. What do you remember, Mr. Brody? Uh... I was in the woods, and then I wasn't. In the woods? What were you doing there? It's not important. We will decide if it's important or not, Mr. Brody. What were you doing? He was words? grieving. Was taking a walk. Trying to clear my head. Do you recognize this facility? Well, I don't recognize you, but this building is familiar. It's. It's like I've been here before. Mr. Brody, I assure you that you've never been to this facility before. We have no records of you even stepping foot in this building. No, it's it's not like that. It's... There's an energy here that I've felt before. But it's probably just deja vu or something. Have you experienced other instances of this? Like what? What do you mean? Like feelings like deja vu, like something's happened before. Yeah, of course. But, I mean, everybody has. It's just the mind playing tricks on you. Have you had any other similar experiences, like uh, seeing things that aren't there, strange objects appearing out of nowhere, losing track of time? Mm, no. I, I don't know. It's hard to tell, of course. Mr. Brody, have you ever heard of Alter 114209? What? No. I have no idea what that is. Wait, what's going on? Why am I here? You're here, Mr. Brody, because we deem it necessary. Note. 
indicators show subject is lying about knowledge of alter 114209. Use of the Dr. Hopkins assessment might be needed going what the forward. Fuck? Wait, no, I'm not lying. I told you guys, I have no idea what that is. Don't worry, Mr. Brody. We here at Iris will get to the bottom of this. Get to the bottom of what? When can I go home? We're afraid that's not possible right now. You can't just keep me here. Try to get some rest, Mr. Brody. Tomorrow will be a big day. This concludes our session. What? He's being... imprisoned? Or, like, interrogated? What's going on? I don't get it. Like, he doesn't know this alternate 11, whatever it's called? The date is October 19th, 2019, <laughs> and we are interviewing Chase Brody again. Use of the Dr. Hopkins assessment has been approved. Dr. Hopkins. Good morning, Mr. Brody. <laughs> Is it? We're going to ask you a series of questions to determine your state of mind. Now, keep in mind, we can detect if you're lying, so please try to answer truthfully. You okay with this, Mr. Brody? Do I have a choice? <laughs> Is your name Chase Brody? Yeah. Wait, shouldn't I be hooked up to, like, a bunch of wires or something? Oh, I sure detect your test? technology is quite capable. That won't be necessary. I will repeat the question, is your name Chase Brody? Yeah. Yeah. Are you 34 years old? 34. Yes. Are you taking the Dr. Hopkins assessment right now? Yeah, I guess. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest, how would you describe your current mental state? His eyes are so sunken in. Why do you need to know that? Please just answer the questions. I like the fact I that the know. guy from Game Grumps is here. Four, he said. Have you ever felt an attack of fear or anxiety? Yes, of course. Do you feel safe? <laughs> right now? No. Do you regret your decisions? <laughs> what? Do you regret your decisions? About what? You're gonna have to be more specific. You know where you are. Uh, somewhere in Iris. Do you know why you're here? Iris? No. I keep telling you guys, I have no idea. Have you ever heard of Alter 114209? No, I told you yesterday. I have no idea what that is. What was the first time you came into contact with Alter 114209? Are you even listening? How many times do I have to tell you, I have no idea what that is? All right, moving on, Mr. Brody. How many pictures have been shown to you so far? Pictures? Pictures? None. How many sounds have been played for you? None. Are you easily startled? No. I mean, maybe? I don't know. It depends on the situation. What's the worst pain you've ever felt? Mentally or physically? I don't know. I can't remember. Do you believe in God? <sighs> a bit of a loaded question, don't you think? Please just answer the question, Mr. Brody. No. Oh, I well. mean, I used to, not anymore. Do you believe in life after death? Okay, no. This is ridiculous. No, I'm not doing this. Ridiculous or not, please just try to answer the question truthfully. Do you believe in life after death? No. Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? No. Well... Have you ever lost someone close to you? Okay, well, look, I've answered all your questions. Yeah, about those anymore? things. Not done with the assessment yet, Mr. Brody. Have you ever lost someone close to you? I don't care if we're done with the assessment, okay? I'm not doing this. Have you ever lost someone close to yes! you? Yes! There you go. I lost the only two people that ever mattered to me. His wife and his kid. Thank you, Mr. Brody. This concludes our assessment. Wait, that's it? What was the point of all of that? When do I get some damn answers? Probably never, buddy. What the fuck is going on, man? He's being, like, evaluated, interrogated, questioned. Hello? What is going on? Come on. Don't tell me you're giving me the silent treatment now. It was just getting fun. <laughs> so, what? Am I supposed to just sit here and talk to myself? Oh, Iris, you're so amazing. 
It's like only yesterday we used to talk. I miss you so much. It's okay. probably just me, though, right? Should we see other people? What's going on? What? What? Is, what is that? What was that? What, what do you want me to do with this? I'm not a dog. Tch! Is that a tennis ball? Do you do this for all your guests? Or am I just special? Man, this poor bastard. Playing handball with a tennis ball. Being evaluated for some odd reason. <laughs> Covering the camera with the with the the hat. <laughs> to get their attention but he's being watched anyway so they ain't gonna help him this is what you want isn't it yeah you guys watching i know you're looking at me you sick fucks <laughs> you sick fucks can you at least turn the lights off nah. how am i supposed to sleep can you turn off the lights thank you to put it under night vision. <laughs> Come on, this isn't funny. I'm trying to sleep. It's the first time she really spoke. Hey! Look! When are you guys gonna let me out of here? Alright, it's starting to get really boring. I answered all of your questions. I told you everything I know. What more do you want from me? What do you want from me? Where are they? Hello? Is this some sort of sick joke? <laughs> What the fuck? Please, 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 please go away. Please. Please, we love you. Please, 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 please. What do you want from me? Well, fuck. Well, fuck. Here you go again with this fucking shit. <clears throat> The date is October 21st, 2019. Two we are days. interviewing Chase Brody once again. Welcome back. I thought you guys forgot about me or something. There it Mr. is. Mr. Brody has experienced elevated exposure levels since we last spoke. Levels in the room have also been increased. Wait, what do you mean? I've just been sitting here. What have you guys exposed me to? Mr. Brody, there are powers in this world that would seek to harm individuals such as yourself that we are trying to protect you from. What bullshit? You think you're doing all of this to protect me? Believe me, Mr. Brody, we are. We're gonna carry out the Hopkins assessment again. Oh, great. As before, please try to answer every question truthfully. Is your name Chase Brody? Yep. Are you 34 years old? Uh-huh. Are you taking the Dr. Hopkins assessment right Yeah, now? yeah, 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 just ask the questions. On a scale of one to 10, one being the lowest and 10 being the highest, how would you describe your current mental state? Well, I'm pretty pissed off right now, it's a rock bottom. What was that? Do you feel safe? Do you feel safe? 
What? I... No. Are you enjoying your time here? I... Yeah, no. How does this image make you feel? So every time Very you... confused. Do you know why you're here? No, I keep asking you that. Are you comfortable? Comfortable. No. Do you have any experience with Alter 114209? No, I keep telling you, I... No. When was the first time you came into contact with Alter 114209? Alter 114209. Do you know why you're here? Wait, didn't you ask me that already? Have you ever lost someone close to you? Yes. How many pictures have you been shown? I don't know, uh, four? How many sounds have you heard? Uh, two. Do you regret your decisions? Uh, yes. Do you mean that? What? Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? No, I... Uh, yes. Do you believe in life after death? No. Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? Stop. Have you ever experienced questions. a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? No, stop. Please, stop it. Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? Stop asking me. Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you Stop, stop. Please, stop it. Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence? Stop! stop. Subject's exposure has increased to concerning levels. Suggest so moving to second phase pending board permission. What is this? What did you do to me? What did you do what to me? What the fuck was that? What was that fever dream? Jesus Christ. Sonar. Uh oh. That glitch did not look good. Oh god. Different. Different. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Who are you? What? What's going on? Uh, I'm Chase. Who is he talking Wait, to? Where are you? How, how can I hear you? Who's he talking to? Is he talking to Auntie? Can you get me out of here? Is he talking to Marvin? Or is he talking to some other entity that we don't know about? Jackaboy Man? JJ? Dr. Schneeplestein? What who's he talking to? No 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 don't say that. No. If both of us work together, we can get out of here. What, what do you mean? How, how do you know that? You've seen him too? You've seen what him. Want? I, I, I don't understand. What do you mean I'm special? No, 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 no. No, please don't go. No, please. I need to know. Echo? Echo. Are you there? Echo. What the fuck was that shit? Oh, come on, please. Don't leave me alone here. Hello, Chase. How are you doing today? Just peachy. <laughs> we know you've been through a lot recently, Chase. We just want to help. Please, allow us to lighten the mood a little. What the fuck? We're not a bad company, Chase. Oh, really? I know you think we're evil and want to cause you harm, but that couldn't be further from the truth. We want to stop the bad things from happening. You guys sure have a funny way of showing it. We would like to share some information with you about our company and why you're here. If you would allow us. Okay. A few years back, there was an incident in a small town in the north of England. An item was discovered that had a considerable influence over the people who lived there. An item? What kind of item? A small stone slab. It seemed harmless from the outside, but this item was affecting lives of everyone in this town. 
They had no idea, of course, but many of the residents there had talked about getting severe headaches that wouldn't go away, getting nosebleeds much more frequently than normal, and some started hearing voices. Oh. Voices. Voices, I'm not entirely nosebleeds. sure what these voices were saying, but they evidently had an impact on the people who experienced them. Many lost their minds, were completely unresponsive, while others, sadly, God. turned a darker path. Why are you telling me this? When Iris found out what had been happening in this village, we sent out a team to negate the problem. The CNC identified the item and took it back here for containment. Oh boy, that's a mistake. So? So, you see, Chase, Iris helped those people in that village. We saved them. No. We find items like those and we protect people from them. We're not here to harm you. We just want to help. So, what? Are you, are you telling me that I'm being affected by one of these items? Unfortunately, we believe there is something far more sinister interfering with your life. How, how much more sinister can this get? What is affecting you is orders of magnitude more powerful than any of these items. More powerful than you could so, possibly imagine. So what? You guys knew that this was happening. And you just sat there and, and did nothing. Happen. We're just trying to get to the bottom of this, Chase. We know what you've been through. No, you have no idea what I've been through. You've been seeing things, correct? Hearing voices in your head? Have you seen a man alongside these visions? <laughs> How did you know that? <laughs> that, Chase, is Alter 114209. We've been tracking Auntie it for quite some time. that? Is that who is he talking about? He won't leave me alone. He shows me such awful things when I did. We know what was taken from you, Chase. That you used to be a husband. Fucking hell. Dude. Dude. I'm sorry. I didn't kill them. Dude. Dude. Uh oh. I'm very sorry, Mr. Brody. We need to take you somewhere more secure. More secure? Why? What happened? Nothing, Mr. Brody. It's merely a precaution. <laughs> sure. Okay, a precaution against what, though? What are you not telling me? We do this a lot, Mr. Brody. We move people around to free up space. You don't want to be stuck in this tiny room forever, do you? No, that's not true, is it? Something happened. If you would just follow us, we will happily explain it. Okay, okay. Oh my god, dude. Wait. What is it, Mr. Brody? Wait, we have to leave. I, I've, I've been here before. That, that's impossible, Mr. Brody. No, no, you don't get it. I've been exactly here before. No, please. Let me go. Please, calm no, we down. We have to leave. Calm down, please, Mr. Brody. Please, let me go. Oh, I heard that laugh. Please, please, no. Let me go. Please, please, no. Dude, what is going on? The guards are dead. What now? Oh, what? Oh. That's the same alarm sound from in space. What the hell? Oh my god, dude! What the fuck is that? Oh! <laughs> dude! Don't tell me- oh. <laughs> Dude, it's anti! Those green eyes, I swear! <laughs> Dude! Oh, Chase. Oh, don't! Hey, I wanna make this really quick. <laughs> oh, my.
my god! Holy fuck! Holy shit! My heart is racing. My god, that ending was so good. Holy crap. Dude, that was good. Holy crap, that was good. What the fuck was that? So, let me get this straight. Chase, after being teleported somewhere in the video Chase, he gets sent to this facility, Iris facility, to be interrogated. And he's getting this test done on him every day and he gets more and more annoyed at this it's like a interrogation almost because because at one point like he kept asking like the guy you know the doctor kept asking him like did you lose someone so close to you and he kept saying at first he kept saying no no well you stop asking that and then he finally goes yes Referring to his wife and kid. But then later, we find out that they're dead. That they were mur they were killed. And Chase kept is saying to himself, I didn't kill him. So did Auntie kill him? And then, next thing you know, he's being moved to some place by the guards... And then when he enters the hallway, he's like, wait, I've been here before. Don't let them, don't, please, get me, we got to get out of here now. And he, they're, keep, they're like, no, go, go, go. Next thing you know, we see the result of that. The guards are dead, the doc's dead, and guess who's back? Antiseptic guy. In a new look, he's got some reddish outline a little bit. Like, I guess it's a very reminiscent of the Dark Silence video with the red lighting and everything that's what i noticed and he has green scary eyes and he has that little voice hello chase oh man dude holy fucking shit i am blown away at this project i think everyone involved should get a round of applause for this I hope we can find we can get more of this. Hopefully they didn't just film that. Hopefully they filmed more stuff. And this is just the beginning because of the you know the little amount of because one of the cryptic images that Iris posted was of four of eight subjects and one of them was Chase. So are we gonna see like Doctor Schneepelstein? Are we gonna see JJ? Are we gonna see Marvin? Are we gonna see you know Jackaboy Man? Are we gonna see any of his other characters? Like, what's happening? Like, but my God, dude, that moment when he, he shed a tear, I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> God damn. He's pulling all the stops for this one. But the only issue I have with this, I will say, is the weird inconsistent continuity. Maybe, I don't know, but... Well, because the video was uploaded October 13th of 2019. And this video starts out on October 18th of 2019. So five days later. This happens five days later. And then by October 21st. Wait. October 21st. Was that the day that the, the Dr. Schneepelstein video was made? Dude, I, I swear to God, there was a video posted. Oh, fuck. What was it? Oh, God. It was the, him playing three scary games, and at the end, he has the Dr. Schneepelstein thing pop up. Was that... Was that... Shay, was that... Is that tied in? I gotta find the original video first. Oh, God damn. This is this is interesting. I just realized that. If that's the case, then my god, I really realized that. My goodness. Did I did I just I didn't notice that until recently, just till now. Uh 
Okay, let me find it. Let me find it. I'm close. I'm close. I'm close. I'm close. I'm close to it. No, this video was also what this video was uploaded October 19th. Okay, so I'm wrong. I thought I was right, but it was like around the late October when that video was uploaded. So I found that really interesting. So this video was uploaded October 19th, 2019. That was when the Chase video, you know, the Dr. Schneeplestein video was uploaded. So I wonder, will he be next? Or will Marvin be next? Or will JJ be <laughs> The JJ one I'm really curious about because JJ talks in silent film form. He doesn't talk... Like Chase would in this video. Oh, God. It's going to be interesting now, like, what happens, you know? Holy crap. Dude, I am more excited about what's going to happen next. Dude, that was so good. I love the transition from the security camera in the interrogation room it pops out, it slowly dives down, and then you see the source of it. But another thing is, they kept, like, the doctor kept talking about Alt, Alter 11 4209 or something like that. Alter 11 4209 or 2409 or whatever it is. They kept talking about this Alter 11 4209 or something like that. And this being, like, this that Chase has been seeing is the Alter 11. So, Chase, Antiseptigai is that is known as that to them, to this, to Iris. They're known to that. But another thing we didn't see was the people, the guy being dragged out of the, the, the lab room with all the other doctors and scientists. Like, what? Where? Where was that scene? I didn't see that. The only scene we saw was that gosh dang. Uh, <laughs> the only scenes we saw was mostly from Chase's perspective. So I wonder what what's going on. What is going on behind the scenes with Iris? Because Iris talked about they took of a some artifact, some object. That has been causing nosebleeds, voices in your head, and people taking a darker path. So was this Jack taking this darker path? I don't know, man. God damn, that was good. I am... This is probably my favorite video I've seen from Jack when it comes to his characters, the alter egos. This is probably my, by far my favorite. That ending was so good, dude. Hello, Chase. <laughs> I heard that laugh, too, as they were in the hallway, and Chase is like, Don't, No, we can't go down there. Oh, I heard that laugh. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, I'm pretty sure everybody's got a lot of theories. Yo, Kat Renee's probably got a lot of things to do. A lot of, you know, thinking to do. You know, that kind of stuff. Yo, Kat's got a lot of, you know, thinking to do. They got a lot of work to do. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, that's really it on my reaction. Let me know what you guys thought about the, about this video in the comments down below and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this because that was I did not expect Anty to show up at the last, at the very end. That was really good. So uh, anyways hope you guys enjoyed. If you did the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to check out my Instagram because I make clips of Markiplier, Jack Septiguy, even myself I just act as a cosplay on there so go check it out and be sure to check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. So until next time, JRDL96 signing out. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.